Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more explicit, a little more uncensored, and share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at Hookah Anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, India Royal has been cutting up all weekend due to her birthday being March 9th. Um, shout out to all the Pisces. But um, it looked like she went on vacation to Bali and she been flicking it up out with the girls, looking like she just enjoying her best life. Now, of course, almost anything she does at this point, everyone's going to bring up Dirk's name somehow, some way. And it doesn't help that sometimes they have their little subliminals, you know, on social media going back and forth from time to time. So when she took to Twitter and she said, quote, if it ain't money in the text, don't send it. Of course, everyone assumed she was speaking on Dirk. You know, in some ways she may have been talking about Dirk, but it have not been confirmed. But just remember that tweet because it correlates to this whole thing that we're going to be speaking about and we're going to bring it back up later. Now, I know Dirk been seeing the pictures. <laughs> She been uploading a bunch of pictures on her social media. You know, um, she's usually like kind of low key, but I guess she's out and about. So she's showing off, you know, the videos of her twerking, living her best life. I know Dirk might be wanting that old thing back after all, man, because <laughs> um, any have been looking fine. Let's just say that, man. So the only problem is either India is a very good actor or she really doesn't want anything to do with Lil Dirk. But we all know the saying, man, unfortunately, a lot of us don't know what we have until it's gone. And as cliche as that sounds, it's very, very, very much real. You know, plenty of dudes, not just Dirk neither, but plenty of dudes get a girl, walk all over her, and assume she's going to keep coming back until that last time she actually doesn't. And now you're looking stuck. And then when you, when you have to see her on social media looking like she's living her best life, not even worried about you, Oh man, <laughs> let me tell you, all the fellas know that's the worst thing that a woman could do. You know, when you think she's going to be stressing and depressed over you and the next you know you see her on social media, she twerking, looking like she's living her best life, going on vacation. You see all the guys trying to holler at her. I'm telling you, man, it gets crazy. It's worse than a bullet to the heart. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? A dude can say whatever he want and act like he ain't phased, but trust me, real dudes who going to admit it, they know. But anyway, we know that usually Dirk will throw some news out there, but this time he was very direct about the message that he sent to India. Now he took to his Instagram story to say, quote, let me just look crazy cause good morning y'all. She not dumb or just OT her money. I don't know what he meant by that, but just OT her money or her own. Even after I went broke, she helped me. Watch my page all day. I'm gonna give the street and relationships some tips later from the voice. Not the people who post drama only. It's effed up on my end, not hers. I effed up. She played a small part. She really a good girl who lived life. I'm a good guy, good husband. Cause I just over talk, never listened to her pain. Back when she was uh back pregnant with Willow in the belly, aka Fat Ma. So I ain't perfect, but I'm all for you and I love you and I'm all ears. Whenever we get back in a relationship, you saved my life with you and Willow and Big Sky. Outside, all my kids, you was there, RP thing. This real ish, don't attack her. She definitely the best in the world. Trust me, I ain't do her wrong. I just keep her from the world. I love you having fun and we ain't fighting. I said not fight and I started one, but I miss you. Um, That's all, we ain't no jokes. We really that, we can get the bag back together without doing the most or copycat what they did. Happy B-Day India Royale, not belated every day, your day. Read it, everybody. And then he said, real love, not a paid situation. I just love her to death. She fed up, but I'm going to save us. Now, first of all, I don't know where these guys be learning to type and, you know, they grammar, but that's another story. Now, you know, here's what I take from it. 
you know when it comes to india i don't think that dirk understands that he could potentially give off narcissist vibes you know so she may not want to be involved with him for the simple fact that he thinks that he could just get her back like it's nothing like he got it like that that's the kind of vibe i get from india and you know dirk whole situation then to make matters even worse when he did that whole gave a chick my heart welcome to death row chick and had all his guys saying it so in her head she's probably like this mom got some nerve you see what I'm saying? And Dirk may really like her and want her back, but he just go about it the wrong way and sometimes say the wrong things. Maybe he had a point with her where it's no coming back from whatever he did. Maybe that's how she feels. Who knows? You know, she could also feel like he's playing the victim, like he didn't do nothing wrong because that's the kind of, he gives like 50-50 vibes. I don't know. We don't know, but he do seem like he really do want her back. Maybe he just he expresses it the wrong way you know confusing part of it all as well now the shade room team's ig page posted a screenshot of the tweet where india said if it ain't money in the text don't send it someone posted by replying saying quote i'm loving single india someone replied to her saying quote now who says she was single it was never confirmed that they broke up or even still together laughing emoji then India replied to finally clear up all rumors if there was any and she said quote I'm very much single Ben Ben so if it was ever any confusion before <laughs> about whether Dirk and India is together or not it's pretty much clear as day now that Dirk and India have officially been been over now this must have struck a nerve because to our surprise little Dirk jumped in the comments of the shade room teens and has something to say and y'all know that Dirk usually ain't the one to be in the comments especially when it comes to some messy stuff involving India but he did and he said quote who cares get wealthy then we know a nerve really had to be hit because he commented not only once but twice now the second comment said quote stop putting my name with hers that was years ago all right so now i don't know maybe it was his pride and he felt like he had to respond back accordingly so he don't look like he's weak or something but to say something like stop putting my name with hers you know then the next day later you sending her a b-day shout out saying how you love her and saying how you're gonna fix it and you just want this and that it sounds like maybe he's confused you know maybe he's letting his pride get in the way sometimes as men we can't do that you know we really want something but we don't want to look crazy in front of our peers or in front of the world and you gotta remember he is like somebody big so it's, it's it's more than just a regular joke so i could just imagine maybe he he trying to show off in front of the world and he know that he really want this girl man you know i don't know who knows man however i hope it work out for them you know they have a child together and it'd be dope if they could get back together and be able to raise their kid in the two-parent home well, you know, they, they just doing their thing, man. But who knows? Nobody knows what he did. Maybe it's no coming back from it. I don't know. It is what it is. Y'all jump in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.